What up, what up, what up? This your boy Creek D. And today I'm going to show y'all how to, if you really want to stream, I found a real easy program. This is why I'm leaving OBS and I'm moving to this stream lab. It's super duper duper easy. What you're going to do is you're going to click the link in the description below. You're going to download this. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Download this. And what you want to do, once you download, you're going to come to this. What? When you download, you got to connect it with your YouTube and all that. You'll see it once you know you install it. And once you get it installed and set up, you're going go to you're gonna see this thing right here. You're going to be this your dashboard. What you do is you're going to click this button, one, two, three, four. The fifth button over and it's going to take you to things. All right, these are things. See, real easy, already set up for you. You can click a generic. You know you can pick the, the scene that you like. It doesn't, for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just going to pick one. All right. Once you go over here to this button right here, you click for your themes. You're going to click right here. Bam. First thing. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to install overlay. Today. Or I see it say add in a fresh scene collection to your editor. And once it's done, it's gonna open up your Streamlabs. See that? Open up for you already. See, this is where you want to be. So the first thing you see is just stream starting. You see your live screen, your intermission screen, you can put your camera right there, and you'll be right back. First thing you want to do on this live screen is you can get rid of this background. See where it said background delete me? You're going to right click, remove. Okay. Now you left with this. You can edit this. Put your own, see? Move it big, little. Put your own words on, however you want to do it. You can remove, you can right click and remove it. See? Now what you want to do is add your web camera. So you're going to click plus, video capture device, add source, video capture, add new source. Now you're going to pick whatever your webcam is. See that? Then you're done. There's your camera. What you want to do is pull this camera under the frame. Left click and drag it under. See? Now you can adjust on your camera. I'm left clicking and adjust it. You can adjust the frame. You gotta get rid of this. So what you wanna do is click right here where it's a webcam and get rid of this. You wanna get rid of that. Yes. Now you can put your camera in the back of this. Click on video and you can move. Video, move. You can also crop this by pushing ALT, left click on the mouse, and drag it down to make it go in your frame. There's your camera. Now what you want to do is right click on your video capture device, add filters, plus sign. Now you want to add a chroma key. Go down to you see chroma key right there. Bam. Chroma key. Done. That's going to make your video green screen. And what you want to do is you want to work with it right here. You need this like blackish. You can move it. Make You can move it. Look at your camera and it's the same time. Let's see. So you can see what you're doing. But basically, you want to just move those two. The top one and the second. That's all I move. So I try to get this screen black. Once you get the screen black, click done. There's your green screen. And now you need a background. You can move this too. Move this first. Then you can move your frame. 
Make sure you adjust it how you want it. Now what you do is you get your image. So you go to Google. Type in backgrounds. You don't click image. Once you click image, you go down here to where it says tools. Click tools. Back over here to uses rights. Down to where it says label for reuse with modification. You're going to click that. And then any of these background pictures you can use. I don't care what, just whatever you think of, type it in. I just typed in background. You're going to click on the picture. Right click. Save image as. And wherever you save your stuff on your computer, you're going to save it. Now you're going to go back to your Streamlabs. Plus, you're going to add an image. Add source. Now you're going to search for your add new source. Now right here, you're going to search for the image you just downloaded. You're going to click on that. Open. There you go. Whatever you want to put back there, see? Open. Now you're going to be done. Take the right click on the image, transform, fit the screen. Now you need to fit it to the screen. You can make it bigger or whatever. But this image, you got to left click and slowly drag it all the way to the bottom. The image got to be all the way on the bottom. See, that good camera back. Make it bigger. Whatever your preference is. Now you got your camera. And you got an image. I mean, your camera and your background. Now what you want to do is go back to this plus sign. Go to this alert box. That's going to be for your subscribers and people donating all that. Add source. Alert box. Add new source. I'm going to see it right there. You want all those alerts? Done. Then you can move this. Go down to where it says test widgets and test it. So that's that. Now you can go back in here, plus, go down, get your chat box. See, that's your chat. Add source. Add new source. The chat box going to pop up right there. You done. And this is your chat box, but you're not going to see it till you go live. You can push ALT and left click and adjust it and move it right there. So your chat will be right there while you're streaming. Now, when you're ready to go live, what you're going to do, get this right. Once you're ready to go live, because once you download this and sign up, it's going to integrate to YouTube anyway. It's going to integrate everything for YouTube. Remember, your chat will be there. Once you get ready to go live, you're going to just click simply go live. You're going to title it, put your description right there. Don't show this message when going live. It don't matter. It keeps short or not. Then you're going to click confirm and go live. And then you should be live streaming. Just like that. Just your preview. Back to your editor, you live. See? Easy, just like that. And once you're done, when somebody come in, if they subscribe you, you're going to see your subscriber alert. Somebody sponsor you, you're going to see that. Somebody give you a couple dollars, you're going to see that. Some, you guys, this is a mask for you can put the little funny ears and stuff on them. Y'all ain't ready for that yet. That's just easy as it is. Just like that. When you first open up your Streamlabs after you download it, sign up for your account and all that. Once you first open it, you're going to see this screen here. Come on. This is the first screen you're going to see. Now, if you want to get those themes, you're going to click right here. One, two, three, four, fifth button over towards your right. And here's your themes. You can pick a background, color, see? You can get it. You can pick whatever you want. You can pick uh, animated. This take a lot of computer space, or you can just put a, get a static screen. 
go through here, pick out the scene you want, click it on it. Once you click on that scene, you're going to go back where it says install overlay. You're going to click install and wait for it to install. I'm going to wait for it and wait for it. It's installing right now. Just sit back, have a coke and a smile and wait. It's free. Can't go wrong for free. F-R-E-E. -E. Put your food stamp card, your credit card back in your wallet. Wait till it refresh. Just stuck on this screen until it refresh. It's going to get you there. It's going to get you there for free. Can't go wrong for free. Depends on your internet connection. And there you go. It's going to take you right here to your editor. Like I said, it's your starting, starting soon. It's your live scene. And you're going to scroll down. You see where it said background delete me. That means get rid of it. So you're going to right click and remove. Bam. Get, out, get it out of there. Now, here we go. Be right back. If you got to go to the bathroom, your intermission screen, your camera, you put your camera right there, whatever you want to put right there. And then here's your in the soon screen. Go back to the live screen. You're going to click plus. Add video capture device. Add source. Add new source. Find your camera. Once you get your camera, you're going to see it appear there. Done. Take your camera and pull it up under where it says frame. Webcam frame. You get rid of this. The one that just said webcam, right click and remove that. You don't need that. All right, now you can make your frame bigger. See? Click on it, move it bigger, move it this way. Take your camera, go back up, left click on your camera, hold it down, and bring it all the way down to under the web camera frame. See, then it's going to put your camera in the rear. You adjust it. Easy peasy, little me squeeze. If you make it too big, you put it right there. Push ALT on your keyboard, left click on your mouse, and pull it down. There's your camera. Now you want to right click on your video capture device, add a filter. You're going to click this plus. Filter type, click the drop down, chroma key, done. Once you get your chroma key, you, what you basically want to see is most of this stuff black. So you move this top one until you start getting black. Like that. Don't move it too much. And then you can also adjust with this one right here. Anything after this, I ain't know what to tell you. Right here and right here. This your camera. Like I said, you want your background black. Done. There's your camera with your green screen. Now what you do, you're going to click on the plus sign. Go to image, add source. You're going to browse your computer for a picture. You, know, you can go Google search it. I said it earlier. Browse. Click the picture. Open. It's going to show your picture. Done. Now what you want to do is you can pull this open, all the way open. Now you go to the top, left click on image, and slowly drag it all the way to the bottom. You want that at the bottom. Left click, drag slow at the bottom. See, now your camera came back. You can move this. Click on your camera, highlight it, move it. And there you go. So you ready to start streaming? Once you create your account, everything you can you can edit all this however you want to do it. Once you uh, create your account with the Streamlabs, you be ready. All you gotta do is click go live. Don't give you this to confirm. Confirm you go live. Your live stream. You go back to your editor right here. Once it once it once it kick you in, you go back to the editor. See, they're gonna take you back to the editor, and oh, uh, here's your chat. See that chat right there on the screen. You ain't even gotta look away. You you can interact right there. And then you talk, and you gonna have chat on the screen. With, oh. You can add chat to it. Then you, like I said, test your widgets. 
as a subscriber, you can move that way you want it. Out the way. Because it's only going to pop up when one or two people subscribe you, and you're good. Simple as that. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. It's your boy Craig D, and you already know the business. I'm gone.